The electromagical spectrum combines electromagnetism and magic. It comes from two sources, solar processes that produce power and life processes that produce consciousness. They mix as they flow through us. Gamma radiation, produced primarily by astronomical events emitting excited electrons, occurs at high frequencies. Earthly sources of gamma rays include decaying radioisotopes, radiation from atmospheric interactions with cosmic rays, and lightning. At somewhat lower frequencies, X-rays give us pictures of the inside of ourselves and our luggage and allow us to see others as they'd appear in a state of skeletal nudity. Continuing down the frequency range, dream waves occur when we sleep. They allow us to see the past as well as the future. Dream waves are remembered the next morning as quantum phenomenon. Ultraviolet radiation doesn't oxidize us and our tender bodies tolerate lots of it. Our suntans and supply of vitamin D depend upon it. It causes some lucky minerals to fluoresce. Black light posters depend on it. Brain waves, aka neural oscillation, exist both within and beyond the brain. They're generated by neurochemical activity. Neurons become electrically polarized by proteins pumping ions across membranes. The ions push adjacent ions, which push adjacent ions, and so on, in a wave. Visible light gives us our sense of sight. Violet, purple, indigo, lavender, blue, aquamarine, turquoise, green, yellow, orange, tangerine, shocking pink, red, etc. Bioluminescence is a form of cold light produced by a living organism not to be confused with phosphorescence. Life waves result from neutrinos passing through a beating heart. You're cranking them out right now. All known life forms generate life waves. Anti-life waves facilitate communication between the living and the dead. They result from the interaction of neurochemical and ectoplasmic activity. Anti-life waves are to life waves as antimatter is to matter, mutual annihilation guaranteed. Infrared radiation, once called heat rays, is the basis of night vision, thermography, heat-seeking missiles, and much surveillance tech, not to mention such astronomical applications as spectroscopy. Magic is illusion generated by psychic processes. It occurs across the frequency range with the highest frequencies manifesting the most dangerous forms. Magical events are plasma phenomena sparked by neutrinos. Microwaves, expediting telecommunication, bringing us tomorrow's world today via telephony and radar and more. Point-to-point -point communication resisting reflection, polarization, scattering, diffraction, and atmospheric absorption, putting you in immediate touch with every other creative individual on the planet. Radio waves come from stars and earthly transmitters. We hear them as static, commercials, cosmic background noise, jazz, rock, hip-hop, etc. Death rays combine all the electromagical elements into a Big Bang-like blast of nothingness. One shot from a ray gun, which can be purchased at any toy store, and that's it. Finished. Gone. Zero. Non-existence. Power waves, a.k.a. electricity. That's what you get when an electron does its thing a conversion of energy from potential to kinetic form, and presto, you flip a switch and the light comes on. You press a button and your computer or device or robot comes to life, and here you are digging this now. Galactic waves, with frequencies unimaginably long, allow interdimensional mind control across the void of space, permit alien entities to communicate with Earthlings via thought, and make possible intergalactic intercourse via instantaneosity. And that's the electromagical spectrum in a nutshell. Remember, each wave breaks upon the shore only once. Each heart breaks forevermore only once.